Experts are now predicting that 187,000 restaurants here in the United States will close forever. This is a massive, massive blow to the economy, to the communities, and to workers. But what you need to understand is why are these restaurants expected to close? Well, what we're facing right now is an unprecedented scenario. We are seeing wages cause issues. We are seeing leases, again, cause issues. The business owners themselves are just quitting and people do not wanna be a part of some of these businesses. Now, I'm gonna address what's going on here and I'm gonna show you just what we've seen over the past month or so, where many businesses, many restaurants have closed down and shut their doors for good. So make sure you stick around for this entire video and I'll explain exactly what is going on. But all I ask is one thing, it takes two seconds, go ahead, hit that like button if you enjoy these daily updates and now let's begin. So 187,000 restaurants are expected to close. You may be thinking, that's no big deal. We have millions and millions of restaurants. Well, actually that's untrue. According to a recent report done just this past year, we know that there's about 750,000 restaurants, but 201,000 of those are fast food joints. Things like McDonald's and Wendy's and Burger King. So we are gonna see about 25% of restaurants close for good. Just look at this. Rubio's is closing 48 restaurants in California. Okay, that was just from the other day. That's Rubio's, they're a, they're a kind of a taco place, a casual taco place. Good, very good restaurant in my opinion, but they're closing. Well, look at this one. A Sonic location in West Carrollton is permanently closing as well. But there's a, a restaurant that could replace it. Guess what? It's a coffee shop. It's just a coffee shop. That's it. Hooters is closing. They are closing their uh, Warwick uh, location. Again, Hooters. They sell wings. They sell burgers. They sell fries and drinks and, you know, a good time, I guess. They're closing. Guess what? TGI Fridays is also closing its Gatlinburg location. It says the TGI Fridays in Gatlinburg has been a staple on the Gatlinburg Parkway for 25 years and we are thankful to all our employees, guests, and the Gatlinburg community. But why are all these businesses closing? Well, look at this one. You've heard this before, I've talked about it already. Red Lobster is scrambling just to keep their Times Square location open. You know why? Because of rent, because of the cost of the lease. And this is the issue for many businesses. It says Red Lobster faces more than 100 possible closures due to leasing issues. You know what? Many businesses are going to close down because they cannot afford the lease. But that's just the beginning. Listen to this. Why are more restaurants closing down? Well, the number one reason is because the American people do not have money to go and afford a luxury like a sit down meal. Some can't even afford McDonald's, right? In fact, here's a big issue. Many personal loan borrowers are relying on loans for everyday expenses as cost of living grows. Can't afford things like our rent. We can't afford car payments. We can't afford to pay our credit cards, our utility bills, medical bills, student loans. We can't afford to have our own Netflix account, our own Hulu account. We have to share the passwords. This is becoming a major issue. So right now that millions of people can't afford everyday expenses and have to get a loan for it, you think they're gonna go and go have a sit down meal at a Red Robin, at an Applebee's, at a TGI Fridays or, or a Hooters? Probably not. But here's another thing that you may not know. Wages. Wages have gone up exponentially for the restaurant industry. One of the reasons why? Tipping. The American people got tired of tipping. 
They, he got tired of seeing every time they went into a place, they had to tip 20%, 25%. Now, I was talking to a friend of mine just the other day. We actually went into a frozen yogurt place. And we went in, and it was, you know, 8 $9 for the frozen yogurt, whatever it was. And we sit down, and my friend goes, did you just tip? I said, probably, like, if it had a tipping screen on it, I'd probably just hit 20% and, and off I went. He said, why? And I said, well, did you tip? He said, no. He said, why would I tip? Because I went to the machine, I pulled the lever, put the frozen yogurt in, went to the little station, put all my toppings in, put it on the scale, they, they weighed it, the guy stuck a spoon in it, that was it. That, that was all he did. He just rang me up. Why would I tip him for doing all that? I thought about, and I don't know what your thought is either, but would you tip in that situation? I did, but unknowingly. It's just, you know, it's just habit that there's a tipping screen, I hit 20% and off I go. But let me know your thoughts because millions of Americans are frustrated with every place they go. There's a tipping screen. I've seen this in airports. I've seen this in, in coffee shops, which, you know, in most cases, absolutely. But when, I've see, when I see it in a, a uh, hotel lobby, that I go up to the, the you know, uh, system, whatever, and I hit that, you know, okay, I'm going to buy this and this and going to buy some candy, whatever. And at the very end of it, it asks, tip, 20%. No, there, there's nobody here. I'm doing this all on my own. Why should I tip and who am I going to tip? Just makes no sense. But Americans are frustrated because of it. And because of everyone being frustrated with tipping, now they are being, or you know, businesses or you know, restaurant owners are being asked to increase their wages and just forgive the tips. Just forego them. Don't worry about tipping. Right? You keep it. Just give us the wages. That's what we want. Because that is guaranteed. That is something that is every single day you get X amount of dollars. It's not a guessing game. That's what you get. But many restaurants can't afford higher wages. So because of that, they lay people off or they just close the business entirely. But here's something else. Restaurants, and you may not know this, okay? But the businesses that surround restaurants, that's a major factor. Before the pandemic, restaurants were would go to a certain location in within a city and they'd put down their roots. They'd put their business right there because they put their restaurant right there at the corner because there was a, uh, you know, you had like a bowling alley next door. You had an office building across the street. You had a hair salon, you know, right there as well. Right? You had a coffee shop just at the corner. And so that was perfect place. Many businesses all around. Here's the problem. As soon as that, Bowling alley shut down because of the pandemic. That took away you know, hundreds of customers every single day. As soon as that office building across the street decided they are going to let people work from home and work remotely, that took away, again, hundreds of people every single day. As the coffee shop or as the, the bowling alley went away, as the workers you know, started working from home, the coffee shop was not getting the money that they needed. So they closed down. And then the hair salon, just right down the street, again, wasn't getting the, the customers that they needed, so they shut down. The only business that was still there was the restaurant, but there's nobody coming because all the locals, all the regulars aren't there anymore. They left. That is what we're facing today. You go to many big cities, Seattle, I know for a fact, Seattle was hit hard. There are still many corners of the of downtown Seattle that don't have any business. There's the restaurants that were there closed, right? Pizza shops gone, right? They're just done. The, the leases were up. They had to renew their lease. It was more expensive in many cases, almost double, but not only that, they were facing the issue of they had no customers. So they just closed up shop, but this is the biggest one. And you may not know this, Right now, we are seeing restaurants that are running, their, their leases are, are due. They have to renew their lease. The, 
the problem is there's nobody around them. The landlord is now expecting to increase their rent, increase their lease payment every single month because everything has gone up. Values have gone up. Okay, Inflation over the past handful of years has gone through the roof. So because of that, landlords are expecting an increase to their rent. But because of the location is not as desirable as it used to be, many of these businesses are saying that, no, we're not going to pay you more. We would actually pay you less because we don't have all these other businesses around us to make us more profitable. So because of these things, businesses are just closing down. Again, this is why experts believe we're going to see 187,000 restaurants close forever over the next handful of years because of what we are currently facing. So let me ask you this. In the past year, in the past one year, 12 months, 365 days, has there been a business that you loved, a restaurant that went out of business? Let me know down in the comment section below. Because one of the ones that, you know, I, again, I do like going to this is a Red Lobster. Shut down. It shut down. Another one that I really like going to um, was this like little taco place, little taco stand. Shut down. Because they had to lease the land and the land was becoming too expensive. So, again, let me just ask you this. Has there been a restaurant that shut down over the past year that you really like going to? Let me know down in the comment section below. But I will leave you with that. Just understand over the next couple of years, we could see almost 200,000 restaurants shut down across all the United States. So we'll see what happens moving forward. All I can tell you is I will be here every step of the way and I'll fill you in on all the latest news and updates. But as of today, that is what we know. So again, thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing and I'll see you guys on the next one.